Okay, in this video, we're coming towards the end of the operator, I suppose, method using in, in the quantum linear harmonic oscillator. So I'm now going to show you the potential energy, how we get the potential energy, or what the potential energy operator is. And to be honest, I'm just going to use ones we've done in the past. So I'm going to, you, you, you should know at this stage that the, we'll say the position operator to be squared is h bar over 2m omega outside of a plus a minus plus a minus a plus. That's something I've done in a previous video, so you can check it up if you like. And we also know that omega is equal to square root k over m. That's another thing we've done plenty of times. Alright, so what's the potential energy? Well, the potential energy is 1 half kx squared. That's 1 half uh, m omega squared x squared. And look, there's our x squared there. So you can plug that straight in. So that's 1 half m omega squared h bar over 2m omega a plus a minus plus a minus a plus like so and can we cancel anything m goes the omega goes one of the omegas go and we have h bar omega over 4 a plus a minus plus a minus a plus now this is an integral I'm actually sick of doing at this stage well when, you, when we get the expectation value I'll, I'll <laughs> I'll pause a moment. So we want to find, that's the, we'll say, that is now the um, the kinetic energy operator. That's the kinetic energy operator. So if you want to get, or potential energy, excuse me. So if we want to get the expectation value of potential energy, we need to put that into an integral. So we need the integral to be u, um, the, we'll say the potential energy operator like this, and u, like that. So that's going to turn out to be, I'm pulling out the constants because they aren't, they aren't of any interest. A plus, A minus plus a minus a plus, like so. Okay, and it's an integral I'm sick of doing. The answer is 2n plus 1. So we get, uh, and yeah, you just get 2n plus 1 like that, outside of h bar omega over 4. Okay, or we could take out the 2, so it's n plus half, and we're going to get h bar omega over 2 times n plus 1 half. All right, and finally I'm going to tell you this, that we know the energy in our system is equal to, um, the energy in our system is equal to n plus a half h bar omega. So comparing this and this, we realize that the, the potential energy is equal to one half of the energy of the system. And in a previous video, we, we saw that the kinetic energy is equal to one half the energy of the system. Okay, which is what we'd expect due to, be, due to equipartition of energy. All right, so to be honest, that's all I really want to say about that. I know I did it pretty quickly. So if you're looking for, I suppose, more detail, look at my video on kinetic energy. Thanks for watching. Please pass it on to your friends and subscribe to my channel.